let me give a little description of what I've done here. So this is a mounting diagram to be able to mount the outboard, um, which is also the same uh, upside down. Uh, mounting diagram, this is an Atlas Micro. This will be the jack plate that I'm going to put on. Um, so this bolt pattern, actually, this bolt pattern here is what, uh, is what will actually mount to the boat. So what I did was I took this diagram here that I got online and I created this, which is almost like uh, what I'm doing is creating a template or, and a, a guide bracket to be able to drill these screws in all flat. So I measured it all out, found center, did the offsets in all four directions. So then I took this and I'll go show you, I put it on the transom of the boat and drilled these pilot holes. So what I'm trying to do here, so this will be a good description, is so if this is the transom and I drill a hole straight through it, like to put the bolts in it, what I want to do is over drill it and then also put caps on the ends so that that whole bolt will be encapsulated in epoxy. So there'll be no way for any water migration to go this way. So what I'm going to do first is to make that cap on the end, I'm going to drill, this is an inch and three-eighths portion of it, and then I'm going to come back and drill, um, this is a one-inch portion of it. So this will actually be, so it's a half-inch hole, so that'll give me an eighth of an inch, basically, of spacing through the core of the transom. So that's what I'm doing, and I'll, I'll bring this over there and show you on the boat, but uh, while I, before I went and did all this, I was trying to capture it. So let me get this together, and I'll be right over there. All right, so you can see I pay a lot of attention to all these lines, but there's a center line right here. This is the absolute dead center of the boat. So what I did was, is I kind of laid it out here so I could check myself. But the little piece that I made here, let me get up. You can see right here, the, right here is the center line mark. So you just put that right there. Try and do it with one hand, so holding the camera and I just took put a clamp on it so now it's held in there tight so, so now that that's on the boat we kind of check check the lines of it and all made sure it's all down there good that smaller drill I just came in here as you can see and by also drilling this square with um, when I had it in my on my little workbench I was able to make sure it's pretty square so I was able to take it and go through this hole all the way through the transom and all four of these places and so now I have a hole on both sides you can see I have a hole there 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 and there so that's where I'm gonna come right back with this big forstner bit probably only go in there a quarter of an inch or so not not way too far I just want to be able to create a little bit of a flange on this each side and then I'll at the same time I'll take this piece off again and just come in here. And like I said, just put that right there. I only probably go in half the width that I'll probably put me a mark on that bit. So I know probably only go in maybe a quarter of an inch, something like that. And uh, do that on the inside and the outside. Then I'll come back and drill it all the way through with the, uh, the uh, one inch bit. And then when I'm in here pulling all my thickened epoxy, or maybe even tonight, I'll pack this full of thickened epoxy so that it'll be, and then I can come back and sand it. So when I put the fiberglass and all in there, when I go to re-drill out these holes, the fiberglass will actually be bonded to that thickened epoxy. And I won't ever have to worry about water migration into the, into the transom. You could, you know, you could probably just drill this out, cover it with, you know, 4,000 or 4,200 uh, in the actual bore hole, you know, the bolt hole itself, probably be fine forever. But this is a way to just make sure and know that I, I won't ever have to worry about that. I've also kind of started over here and picked out the location of where I want my stern eyes, and also where I'm gonna put a, a doubler plate for that on the inside, and a doubler plate here for the jack plate, and another doubler plate on this side for uh, uh, like an Armstrong ladder. Or, something like that so all that will be doubled up and I'll probably come back in here where the trim tabs will go in the bottom and I'll double that on the inside put a strip in there 
probably bond all that before I run this fiberglass or I may do that afterwards I'm gonna just see um, but uh, I just wanted to get out here and do this I want to get these holes drilled and so that epoxy can cure before that fiberglass goes on the inside so that's what I'm doing right now That wasn't even the right spot. That's just a, uh, that must have been a hole from where I bound the, the uh, yeah. So that'll get filled with, filled with thick and epoxy. That's a, that's a uh-oh. Yeah, so let's see. This is, this is actually a motor hole. This one and this one. Yeah, that's about right for today. Maybe it's a it's worthwhile for somebody but like good way with these forcing the bits to know whether you're on I'm gonna show you like so right there I'm on I'm, as I was doing that I was hitting only right there so that you know, lets you know for sure that you're not flat so if you just go slow and then when you see you're making contact all the way around that's when you have see that only about that much of the bits going in and it's hot so don't touch it so that'll be the four holes on the inside and I won't be able to show you the outside because I can't uh, I don't know maybe I can hold the camera and do it get it in there and make sure it's hit See this one, I'm gonna start off leaning it to the right. So I'm not hitting at the top. be the bolt hole on there the bolt pattern and just for verification I did take this board and lay that uh, jack plate on it and set it on there and make sure that everything lined up so uh, it, it should be exactly the same thing so for sure I can jack I can bolt the jack plate to this template and uh, uh, you just have to assume the motor is gonna follow right along so now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna drill these holes out uh, all the way through on each side and then I'll pack that full of thickened epoxy and uh, that's what will then the bolts will go th through that and actually be fully encapsulated in epoxy so it won't, they won't ever come in contact with wood and eventually on my drain plugs because I'm gonna probably have two drain plugs just because we've got that partition and I'm not real big on cutting it cutting it out um, but I may just make a hole through it and put one drain plug just be it's gonna be a little awkward having it one of them off to the side but may just be the best thing is to just drill me a limber hole or something through there and uh, glue uh, glue in a piece of fiber uh, yeah fiberglass maybe make a little fiberglass rod or something but we'll see that'll be uh, easy enough to get to when I get there so this is we're going to get this done and then also do those uh, also do those on the edge I'm going to overbore those the same way uh, so that when I get ready to do this then once again nothing is coming in contact with water let me try and show this after the sun's gone down. 
after it's done you can see that it'll be a nice little clean hole in there and it'll give me a little flange that way if ever that that if I just drilled a plug in there and it slid out one way or the other then it would you know then you then it would, you'd have I mean granted with a nut bolt and washer on both sides it should be fine but that's uh that's what I did um, maybe you can see it better from this side you know, so once again, I'll just fill that hole right there with thickened epoxy, but uh.